It has been a while. I hope you guys have missed me. And welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to build this awesome custom mechanical keyboard using a, that's right, 3D printer. Let us have a quick look at the model. First of all, let's start with the base plate. It consists of many, many holes here. One, two, three, four, five, I think, six. And of course, you mount the PCB on top of that. There's a hole for the USB-C cable. And you can see these nice hexagons, except for this area. Why? There's a secret hidden below it. Boom, there you go. This is where you put the name on the other side and then you can see from the back and uh, yeah apart from that this is the case with this beautiful pattern the keycaps of course we have to uh, design it ourselves as well we are using different shapes and different angle for different rows and in total we have five so this is an example of the first row note how big this is and the angle if we move to the last one it has the opposite angle here boom and it's also much smaller and then i uh, designed this thing here i found this design on thingiverse but i kind of did not like that this is not flat because of the slices it's gonna be a bit scratchy if i press it so i move to my final design which is something like that work in progress oh no look at this <laughs> Um, seems like I got some miscalculations. Actually, there is a part here broken too, but I'm gonna glue it here later when it's done. No problem for the printer. So we can just pull them down, boom. And just like that. Don't worry if you have doubt that it's not gonna hold. I have some trick. So what we're gonna do is to reinforce the whole thing with resin. That's right, we have to mix it and then we coat it and let it dry. The ratio is 50-50. So I actually don't know what I'm doing, but it has always worked. So I stick with my old formula. Holy moly. I just got a few drops of resin on my hair. Look at this. It's all stick together. Oh no. I mean, luckily it was just a few drops. I hope that it will go away by itself. Oh man, this is so disgusting. 24 hours has passed. My hairs are clean. I washed them and the uh, resin are also gone here. Perfect. And they are dry. Holy moly, look at this. <laughs> Guess what I have here. <laughs> so they sent with uh, FedEx, I think. Look, look what we have here, look what we have. We got, uh, what is this? Okay, let's open this up later. We got some stabilizer. We need stabilizers. Something again here, I don't know. Ah, and uh, the PCB. Oh my God, it looks so cool. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. First of all, make sure that everything works fine. So I connected this to my computer using USB-C cable. I put two switches and I can just, you know, click and it seems like everything is working. You know, now I got something prepared. I got these letters. So uh, do you see my little name here? This is uh, of course 3D printed as well. This is my name. 
with the blue. Let's see if, let's see if it right fits into this hole. Okay, nice. Nice. Look at there, look at the details. Look at the details, my name. These are the anti-slippery mat, which I got from Ikea. And these are spare parts actually. And I cut them into, you know, small pieces. And I'm gonna glue them together. Maybe one more here, in this corner. Done. And the next, the PCB. With this little uh, LED that we cut off from the LED stripe, we distribute them. As you can see, we got four. One, two, three, four. We cut a little uh, cable with the corresponding length and we solder everything. This is the DX60. You see somewhere says ground and VCC. Watch this. Boom. Beautiful. Red is the VCC and white is the ground. Oh my God. It works. It works. Perfect. 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 We are now preparing for the final stage. That's right. The PCB is here. This is how it looks like. I just added more of these um, fabric. My ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Everything seems... Holy moly. It works. It works. What I am printing. This is my very, very initial design. Here to demonstrate you. The keycaps look like this. And it works perfectly. Do you recognize the pattern? That's right. That's our logo. One mistake of this model. So be aware if you use the DC60 hot swappable, okay? This button here, do you see two holes? But the PCB got only one hole in the center, one hole in the center, so this fits to the PCB. So this is what I mean. I put my PCB inside, okay? And if I put this now here, everything works really perfectly, except for this one. Boom. Done. I got a pack of Gatheron Black here and we are going to loop them. I got this one here. I got this switch opener. This is a switch and we are going to push them out just like that and then we can open it. Boom. The assembly. I forgot to loop the stabilizer as well. So let's do this real quick. I never thought it was so fun to do this. It's like making your own little uh, toy. Um, you know, I have a difficulty now with this because this is made of plastic and it's not gonna work as I expected. I think I can just use like this without the, the without the mount, you know, just boom. I am uh, very happy about the result. Look at this. Even though we don't have this switch holder, everything is very solid. Let's try it out. Let's put a keycap on it. We are almost done, almost, and it looks good, and it feels very good too. Never thought that it would feel that good. If you are planning to print your own keycaps, it's gonna break, it's gonna break for sure. And uh, yeah, so you have to tweak around with the support and you know, but you can always reprint them, right? We are back to our room and my keyboard is attached to this beautiful custom-made USB-C coil cable. Check out my last video. 
if you have not. And the keycaps, they look so cool. They look so cool. This is the keyboard, guys. I should have added six LEDs instead of four, but it's okay, it's okay. And I like to keep it this way. I turn off the, you know, the colorful R RGB thing, but you can also activate that if you type on it. Smash the keys like that. It will change the color, but it will fade away by itself. Very nice. So the DC60 is QMK compatible, which means you can remap everything using the QMK configurator. This is a toy example of my keyboard of the DC60, of course the RGB version with the arrows. And we can toggle between two layers. So this is the zero layer, and then we can go to the other layer by pressing this button here. And you can see that in the second layer, I have these F keys, but also for example, I can change the RGBs and yeah, just some brightness and so on. You can remap the keys just as you wish. But a quick warning from my side. So if you go to help and QMK instructions, you will find somewhere written where it is here. Spacebar plus B for the bootloader mode, which is fake news. It is the escape button. So basically you unplug the cable, press the escape button, then you plug the cable in again. Congratulations, bootload mode on and your QMK toolbox should recognize this as well. I've been using this keyboard now for two days and the typing experience is awesome. And I think it's mainly because of the loop switches that we install on the keyboard. Of course, we did not include this uh, base mount for the switch. So sometimes it gets a little bit wobbling, but using this keyboard, I have no any issues so far. And uh, you can actually, because we don't have this mount, we can actually pull up the switch anytime. And I can actually put like, for example, something else here. This is a clicky one. I can just literally install it anytime. I hope you are inspired by this little uh, tutorial. <laughs> I had so much fun building this, honestly, because of um, the fact that I'm using this keyboard every day. This is such a personal thing and it feels just so good that I made this. The 3D files are all available on Thinkiverse. Feel free to check it out. The link is in the description below. And I'll be very happy if you could, you know, post some of your creations and share it with others. With that being said, thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you next week. Uh -huh.